With regard to Article 17 of the DSM Directive, one issue that arose concerns the extent to which it falls in related rights. Now, if we look at the wording of Article 17 itself, it tells us that to avoid liability for uploads of protected subject matter onto their platforms by their users, OCSSPs should obtain authorizations from the right holders which are referred to in Article 3.1 and 2 of the Information Society Directive. Article 3.1 covers copyright, but Article 3.2 lists certain related rights. Now, specifically the rights of performers, phonogram producers, film producers, and broadcasting organizations. However, when we then look at the national implementations of this provision, it seems that only five member states, and specifically Belgium, Latvia, Luxembourg, Malta, and the Netherlands, have restricted protection to only these for related rights. Instead, other member states refer in a general way to related rights without specifying them. This is the case for Austria, France, Germany, Hungary, Italy and Spain. Now this implies that in those jurisdictions all related rights recognized in national law are covered. Now, another collection of countries explicitly extend the protection of Article 17 to related rights which are not mentioned in EU copyright law. So, for example, Danish law makes it clear that rights in catalogues are also included. Cyprus, Denmark, Finland and Sweden extend the law to non-original photographs. Cyprus and Estonia cover publications of previously unpublished works, and Estonia also covers publications of literary, critical or scholarly editions of non-copyright works. To the extent that these rights fall outside of harmonised EU law, this is arguably an acceptable implementation strategy, even if it leads to fragmentation. However, If related rights that form part of the EU acquis are also covered, such as the new rights of press publishers, which were introduced by Article 15 of the DSM Directive, then the result is gold plating that is harder to see as compatible with EU law. This is the case for uh, several national implementations, specifically Croatia, Cyprus, Estonia, Greece, Portugal, Romania, Slovenia and Slovakia. These countries extend the reach of their national implementations to press publications and in addition the Czech Republic, Finland and Slovakia also extend it to databases. Both of these rights concerned harmonize area of law, which is problematic. France presents an additional twist because the French transposition of Article 15 includes no guarantee for private or non-commercial uses by individual users, as the directive in fact in Article 15 requires. France instead seems to rely entirely on the private copying exception for this purpose. Now, the logical conclusion is that in France, OCSSBs may be liable for non-commercial public sharing of press publications by end users on their platforms, which appears to go against the directive's intention with the adoption of the press publisher's right. In Ireland, interestingly, we have the opposite problem potentially because the identified exclusive right holders uh, seem to be restricted only to copyright holders. Now, in Irish law, the term copyright covers the rights of producers and of broadcasters, but it doesn't cover performance, so that in Ireland, potentially we have an excessively minimalist transposition which is also incompatible with EU harmonised law.